It's that time of year again. Everybody loves these videos. We are gonna be going over the top 10 health degrees. Now, last year I got a lot of really good feedback on the video, but people in the comments section did say that I missed out on some of the health degrees and health careers that they were interested in. And so I tried to include as many as possible in this year's list. And so yes, there will be quite a few new ones on this year's list that I didn't include last year. And of course, if you are interested in a healthcare degree or a healthcare career, this should be a fantastic video for you to watch to have reference to a bunch of different careers that you might be interested in but with that being said gently tap the like button hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell and let's get right into it number 10 on the list is going to be podiatrist so this is basically one that i did not go over last year but podiatrists make about one hundred and thirty-four thousand dollars a year however they're growing at about two percent which is slower than average and that's according to bls the bureau of labor statistics uh, but according to glassdoor.com they make about one hundred and seventeen thousand a year now this is a pretty good one but the reason it wasn't higher on the list is because you have to do four years of undergrad four years of grad school and then a three-year residency so that is a very very long time that's about 11 years of your life and a podiatrist is basically somebody who is an expert on everything related to the foot ankle and lower leg so if that's something you're interested in you should definitely give this one a look number nine on the list is going to be a doctor of nursing practice so this is basically one where you would get your doctorate in order to become a nurse practitioner now according to bls nurse practitioners make about one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars a year and they're growing at an absolutely ridiculous 45 percent to put that in perspective four to five percent is average so it's basically 10 times faster than average according to glassdoor they make about one hundred and twenty one thousand dollars a year and this is a great career overall basically you can do almost all the things that a doctor can do you can prescribe diagnose treat but you don't have to go through as much schooling and residency as a medical doctor would so usually in order to become a nurse practitioner there's a lot of different programs and a lot of different time periods and some are accelerated and some aren't but basically you get your bsn which is about four years that's the you know bachelor of nursing basically the basic nursing degree and then on top of that you do about three to six years of schooling but to be honest with you there's a lot of accelerated programs out there you can get your bsn in faster than four years so overall you should be able to get it done in around eight years or so number eight on the list is going to be dentist and you would get either a dds or a dmd dds is doctor of dental surgery and dmd is doctor of dental medicine this is another one that takes about eight years or so but you make about one hundred and sixty four thousand dollars a year which is great and it's growing at about eight percent according to glassdoor you make around the same one hundred and sixty six thousand so this is one where there's a ton of investment up front you're likely going to go deep into student loan debt and then on top of that if you want to start your own practice which many people do you're gonna have to take out a big loan for that so you might end up being a million dollars in debt but you should make enough money to be able to pay it off but me personally uh, what I recommend for most people is I don't really prefer degrees like that just because you're putting off you know securing the bag for so long that sometimes it just doesn't work out there's a lot of other things that can happen and sometimes things don't go to plan number seven on the list is going to be optometrist and this is basically somebody who is an expert of many things that have to do with the eye but they specialize in basically helping people with their eyeglasses as well as contacts this is another one that takes about eight years or so and you can expect to make about one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars a year and it's growing at about nine percent over the next 10 years glassdoor is pretty much in line with that they say you make about one hundred and twenty one thousand a year now this is one that i didn't rank as high last year but after some people left really insightful comments and I did some research on it I realized that I think BLS is a little bit off on this one and it's actually a little bit better than what they're saying and the reason for that is because people's eyesight is rapidly deteriorating because we're spending like 11 hours a day looking at phones TV screens, computer screens, tablets, etc. And so more and more people are going to need contacts and glasses. Number six on the list is going to be radiation therapist. And this is one that's great because it's not a doctoral degree. This one you can get into in about two to three years. And this is where you use radiation or x ray generally to treat cancer. So, really tough job. But if you look at the meaning score, it's actually extremely high, one of the highest meaning scores out there. I believe it's in the high 80s. 
80s. So people do tend to find meaning in their job long term, which tends to correlate with you being happy over the long run. Now you should expect to make around $86,000 a year and it's growing at about 9%. 86,000 is absolutely ridiculous for an associate level degree. And Glassdoor says about the same, a little bit less, around 79,000 per year. Next one on the list, number five, is going to be a doctor of osteopathic medicine. Now, this is pretty interesting because a lot of people don't even know that this one exists. So a doctor of osteopathic medicine and a medical doctor, MD, they are technically a little bit different right now, but they're merging them over the next five to 10 years. So there's basically going to be no difference whatsoever. However, realistically speaking, right now, it's easier to get into DO school than it is to get into MD school. And on top of that, if you look at different websites, they generally make less money. It's also a little bit harder to get placed into the the residencies that you want to get into. So there is pluses and minuses to either one. But with that being said, you can expect to make over $208,000 a year. Uh, they make so much that the system that shows how much different professions make is kind of like broken on BLS. And so they don't say exactly how much it is. They just say over 208,000. I can tell you I've done extensive research on this. It's probably going to be more in the 300 to $400,000 range. And if you go into certain specialties, you can make up to like 700, 800,000 a year. Year. And it's growing at about 3%, which is a little bit slower than average. Now, number four on the list, you know, they're basically the same thing, but this one's maybe slightly better, is going to be medical doctor. Okay, so for both MD and DO, you're going to do four years of undergraduate, four years of grad school, and then three to seven years of residency. And then you might even do a fellowship after that, depending on the specialty that you go into. So depending on what you go into, you could be spending 11 to 20 years in school as well as residency. So you could actually spend more time doing schooling and residency than you did going to school when you were a kid. Think about it. Bruh. Number three on the list is going to be one that you can get into in a little bit less time, and that is going to be nursing. So in this particular case, we are talking about a BSN or Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and you would get this in order to become a registered nurse. Now, I think everybody knows what a nurse is. I don't know if I need to explain that one, but they make around $75,000 a year, and they're growing at 9%, which is as fast as average. However, there's 3 million jobs available. So whenever you see a ridiculous ridiculous amount of jobs available, um, you know, the job outlook, the 9% is a lot more impressive just because of the fact that there's going to be a lot more opportunities for you. There's a lot more different specialties and there's going to be a lot more turnover. So yeah, really fantastic degree, really fantastic career. Um, I will say that uh, nurses and I guess healthcare degrees and healthcare careers in general, uh, you are going to be pretty busy. Um, you're almost always going to be understaffed, overworked. Uh, sometimes people don't appreciate you because they're having a really bad day, maybe the worst day of their life. So you do have to have thick skin. There are some unique things about healthcare that are probably way different than any other type of career. But with that being said, nurse can be a fantastic one. The next one is also a nursing degree, and that is nurse practitioner at the master's level, right? So this is the most common type of nurse practitioner. The DNP, the one we talked about before, is a lot more rare, um, but you still make really good money as a nurse practitioner with just a master's, and you can do a lot of the same things that a DNP can do. So according to BLS, the statistics are the same. They just bunch them all together, but of course, DNPs would likely make more money. But yeah, 117,000, according to BLS, 45% percent growth and 121,000 according to glassdoor.com. And the number one on the list after doing extensive research, looking at so many different factors, and there's just no way I could list all of them in this video, is going to be physician associate. And by the way, this used to be known as physician assistant, but they just recently changed it to physician associate. BLS still has it listed as physician assistant though, and they make about $115,000 a year, and it's growing at an absolutely ridiculous 31%. Now this is another one one where you'll likely get your undergraduate degree, get your bachelor's, and then you'll take around two years or so to become a PA. So overall, it's going to be about six years to get this degree. And this is one where you can also prescribe and diagnose, but you have to be under the supervision of a doctor. The reason I rank this one just a little bit ahead of nurse practitioner, and honestly, it could go either way, they're both fantastic, is because of the fact that, in my opinion, it's a little bit more flexible. I personally know people who have worked in two 
or three different specialties at once. And if you compare this to medical doctor, once you choose a residency in one specialty, if you wanna switch specialties, you have to do another residency. Whereas with PA, it's relatively easy to switch specialties. And so this gives you an added level of flexibility that a lot of other medical related careers just don't have. But yeah, really good choice for the right person. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.